State Assembly Member Hector De La Torre. I'm a candidate for State Insurance Commissioner. Uh, I'm from Southern California. I represent a district that has a significant Filipino-American population. In fact, my church, St. Raymond's in Downey, uh, has a very significant Filipino uh, population. And, and, you know, I interact with the Filipino-American community on a regular basis as a representative of uh, the 50th Assembly. Well, it's, it's a couple of things. Uh, number one, it is an important position in everybody's day-to-day -day lives. Other than your living expenses, insurance is the most expensive product that you buy. Every month you're having to buy uh, auto insurance, and, uh, property insurance, and health insurance. So in, in numerous ways, uh, we are all affected by insurance companies and the products that they offer us. And many times we don't have much to choose from uh, or we don't know uh, what other opportunities there are other than the TV commercials that we see. The insurance commissioner, the elected insurance commissioner, is there to protect the consumer. And that, that to me is a very, very important function. Uh, secondly, uh, I have had a personal experience with my youngest daughter when she was five months old, who got very, very sick with an infection, uh, where we were having to struggle with our insurance company. Particularly, they were making uh, medical decisions for our doctor, telling him what he could and could not do. And that has motivated me in the legislature to, to uh, fight for doctors and patients and uh, proper medical decisions. And it's motivated me to run for state insurance commissioner because I know what it feels like having been through that very difficult experience. I think the insurance commissioner has to be very aggressive in, on a day-to-day -day basis, watching over the insurance companies, making sure that in their claims practices, in their rate, uh, the rates that they charge, that they are being responsive to the consumer. And that's why we have an elected insurance commissioner who watches over them. Specifically, on auto insurance, we need to make sure that we are consistent with Prop 103, which was passed by the voters, to keep auto rates down. Uh, second, uh, there are a lot of scams on senior citizens, particularly in ethnic minority communities. Uh, being uh, uh, Mexican American, coming from an immigrant background, I'm very sensitive to how immigrants are mistreated or uh, taken advantage of in various ways, particularly in this case with insurance products. For senior citizens it can be anything from uh, life insurance to property insurance where they are uh, being manipulated and the insurance commissioner's role again is to protect the consumer. Uh, finally, I would say that uh, there are a number of other products that we hardly think about. Earthquake insurance, you know, we've seen in Haiti and Chile that uh, earthquakes can cause devastating damage just in the recent past. Obviously in California we have a history of earthquakes. We need to make in earthquake insurance more affordable because if an earth a big earthquake comes, people might expect that the federal government's going to help them, but as we saw in New Orleans with Katrina, uh, that help doesn't, doesn't put everything back together again and we need to make sure that people are insured and that they can at least take care of their own house uh, and, and rebuild their own lives even as the federal government and the state government put together the broader infrastructure. These are some very important day-to-day -day things that affect all of us. Another uh, case would be workers' compensation insurance, uh, both on the business side, making sure that we cop keep costs down, and on the worker side, making sure that the worker gets what they need to, to recover and get back to work and, and do their job. Well, it's a, it's a very similar experience. My parents came here in 1961 from Mexico, um, speaking Spanish, not having much of an education, uh, and building up a life for themselves and for their children. And so uh, the, the means of doing that was through education. Those values are universal. Uh, the immigrant experience is the same. Uh, no matter what country you come from. Uh, I, have, I grew up speaking Spanish in my home. I still speak Spanish to my parents. Uh, that is another uh, common experience that I have uh, with many uh, Filipinos. And so uh, I think uh, that experience plus uh, our common commitment to family and to faith 
which we have, I see it uh, every week at church uh, with uh, my Filipino American fellow congregants in our church that faith is so incredibly important in the Filipino community just as it is in the Mexican American community. These bonds that we have uh, are very important in terms of being able to reach out to one another and that's why I'm making this special effort to, to reach out to the Filipino American community because I do see the incredible similarities that we have. I think uh, there's a couple of things that are notable about my, my background. Uh, when I was on the city council in my hometown of Southgate, there was rampant corruption. One of my city council colleagues got shot during that time. That's not your normal political experience. When I ran for re-election, they found another guy named Hector de la Torre and ran him against me to try to knock me off. Uh, so we had these crooks who were doing all these crazy things. Uh, I won re-election, despite not being able to use my name, and then led a recall to get rid of all of the uh, crooks in the city council. I know uh, that the, in the Philippines there is a strong uh, commitment to people power. Well, we had people power in Southgate where we got rid of these crooks and uh, put the city back together again, had good government. The ringleader who was uh, the elected city treasurer, he was subsequently indicted on 34 felony federal counts. I uh, testified for the U.S. attorney to, to convict him, and he's now doing 10 years' time in jail. Uh, I'm very proud of what we were able to do in Southgate. It's unusual. No one else running for any statewide office has been through what I've been through, and, and it shows uh, a willingness to take on the tough fights, which you need as an insurance commissioner because the insurance companies are so rich and powerful that they can uh, really do what they want most of the time. Uh, secondly, in Sacramento, uh, I have been uh, focused on, again, these, these kinds of fights. Uh, rescission, this is when insurance companies retroactively cancel the uh, policies of people who get very sick they say that they had a pre-existing condition and then they dump them from their insurance. I led the fight, the first bill in the country to try to address this problem. It was uh, passed in the Assembly and the Senate with bipartisan votes and then Governor Schwarzenegger vetoed it. However, the, the happy ending is that President Obama's health reform plan included the same language that was in my bill to prevent health insurance companies from abusing that practice and now it's the law for the whole United States. So I'm very, very proud of that accomplishment. I've also fought for getting doctors into underserved communities, funding for hospitals. Uh, so I've been very committed to health care and health insurance issues in my time in Sacramento. And that is a, a commitment that uh, I think bodes very well for my time as insurance commissioner. Well, I, I've been making uh, a, a quite an effort to reach out to the Filipino-American community, as I mentioned. Uh, a lot of leaders like Mark Pulido down in Southern California, uh, Marissa Castro, a number of other uh, folks who are leaders in the uh, Filipino-American community are supporting me, and I am uh, humbled to, to have all this support from the community because I think uh, it shows, again, this commonality of experience of immigrants who come to this country to try to make their own lives better, but also using uh, public service to help other people uh, who are in the same position.